watching this week's reality wrap. Let's get things started with a brand new episode of Family Boot Camp. So this week on Family Boot Camp, Dr. Ish and Dr. V take one person from each family, they put them in a raft out in the middle of the lake. It's up to the remaining family members on land to get in the boat, safely get to the raft, bring the family member back. But here's the kicker. They gotta do it blindfolded. Only thing you will have to guide you is their voice. Oh, we can find Renee and <laughs> Put that blindfold on. I think I got this. I think I can paddle my way to Renee in 10 seconds till I hear the word blindfold. I'll, I'll just catch her tan. If she would tell me if we're forward or not, I could figure it out. You're not giving any directions. None. You never said go left, go right, swing this way, hey, come back to this way. You're just yelling. So the next part of the activity, the families have to open their envelopes and then they have five communication cards. And they have different phrases on them, but they basically have to use those phrases in conversation while discussing issues within their family. I think that you should learn how to cook. Is that a real issue? Yes. If you really want to eat. You got any other issues you want to talk about? You should clean up more after yourself. No. <laughs> okay, so what do you want us to do? I want your... Oh! Oh, look what he did. No problem. I'm surprised they didn't have a go f yourself card. Because clearly, these families got a lot of drama. Again, this would not be reality rap if it wasn't a shady moment. And this week's shady moment, Renee, honey, you get the palm tree award. So your sister Lana is over here having a panic attack, supposedly. That's how you may see it, Renee. I can't. Bro, bro. Breathe. Bro. Lana, you want to get out? Yes. Yes. Get her out. No! 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 You're not copping out! She said she had trouble breathing. I'm not copping out. I'm either gonna go there or in the hospital. They go to the hospital. She claimed that she was having a panic attack, which Dr. Ish does, you know, give us a receipt or two saying she does suffer from these things, but because she suffers from them, is she using those panic attacks as a crush to get out of doing the activity she needs to do so they can solve their sister problems. I'm just saying. So this week's clip of the week, actually, this week's family boot camp episode should have been called the Renee Graziano episode. Because this whole episode is about Renee. Renee is breaking down crying because she says her sister Lana didn't believe that she was getting abused by her ex. I think the biggest thing for me was you not believing what was happening to me and you truly believing the devil. For me, that was the most hurt I felt. Please, because you know it's not true. Just explain Ooh. yourself. Renee, deal with done. Lana, you should have supported her. Whether you thought Renee was lying or not, you should have supported her at the moment and then talked to her afterwards. I can't judge these families, but there's one person who can, and this week Judge Toler got a little emotional. My sister and I weren't close. I'd see her maybe once a year. We didn't deal with one another. I'm 57 years old. We did that nonsense for 50 years. And it turned around. Now she's my best, my what's up best friend. Hey guys, let's keep the social conversation going. Make sure you use the hashtag Family Boot Camp or tweet me at Mr. Ray, M-I-S-S-T-E-R-R-A-Y. And as always, you're watching Reality Rap right here on WeTV.